What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Fnatic Journey. So I do want to start off by talking about some factors that caused Lucid to pop as much as it did despite the massive red day that's going on in the market. I do want to give you some updated data points very relevant to a lot of investors and tie it all together with some technical analysis at the end. But before I get into any of that you guys know the deal smash the thumbs up. If you are new to the channel I do daily videos on trading stocks, crypto, I do it all so make sure you do subscribe. Also if you do like my channel and you love Lucid don't forget to join as a member link in the description description below or just hit the join button at the bottom screen greatly appreciate that with that said let's get right to it so as you can see nice little pop first thing in the morning did hold resistance fairly strong but it is starting to fall with the broader market as you can see on this rotating thing going on here a lot of the markets are down very much down per se and even nasdaq down 3.8 percent so it is a very much red day and I do want to talk on some factors that caused Lucid to pop as much as it did. And for those that watch my channel, you know I love Lucid growth, more specifically in Europe. And that is exactly what happened. So Lucid Air is landing in the second semester in Europe. So that's definitely something for us to look forward to. And we've been waiting for this date for quite some time. And when it comes down to, as you can see here, unfortunately, this is French. I'm just going to roll this into English so you guys can understand that. But it does say Lucid Air to arrive in Europe in the second half of 2022. So that's definitely, like I said, something for us to look forward to and we've been waiting for this day for quite some time at least more of a, a general time period and when it comes down to what they say here it just goes over and reiterates exactly some things for Europeans to be aware of for Lucid and about Lucid and we already know technically there is a huge demand for EVs in Europe so this is one aspect I'm very excited about secondly there is this so dream drive we've been expecting dream drive for quite some time as well so a lot of things all came at once and when it comes down to dream drive this is one aspect that puts lucid above the rest so i'm very excited about this especially considering there is just more and more updates that can be done to this to add on top of it so i'm very excited for this and this is a very anticipated add-on so this did come out in mid-october for the dream drive it goes over all the details i highly suggest in you taking a look at that and when it comes down to lidar and everything like that this is one thing like i already mentioned that sets lucid above the rest so those are some factors that did cause lucid to pop as much as it did but unfortunately it is coming to us on a very much red day so this is unfortunately one negative about that but regardless of all that at least it's out and we know that as investors and even more reason for us to buy these dips because we know that lucid has been doing exactly what they say that they've been doing as well and I just want to quickly show you the live ticker. So currently down 2.35%, which overall isn't too bad, especially given the broader market and a lot of other growth stocks are getting completely hammered. And right now, 26 million as far as volume, whereas the average is 51. So a little bit lower today, but 2.5 million shares being purchased by institutions today. And you can tell that based on the block volume column, that is definitely huge. And that's common between every single day, roughly about two to 6 million shares being purchased by institutions every single day. So definitely does show that they believe in lucid significantly and i just want to show you this the new round of 13 f's that came out today again a lot more institutions continuously adding and i just want to show you this because there has been some questions i get about this why does this only show four and why does this only show 40 so at the end of the day they have a lot more than four shares when it comes down to the 13 f it shows the net amount so most likely regency is actually one of those institutions that is shorting lucid because what happens is under these 13 F it shows the net so they are shorting and they are long they have both aspects a very common strategy among institutions and hedge funds just right now they have a net so they have more longs than shorts so that's where you get a lot of these institutions that only have 40 or 4 per se that's not really actually what they do have so that's something to keep in mind at the end of the day and with that just want to talk on short info so I'll give you an update on that so right now the short interest is 1343 down roughly about 4% from 17 days prior 96.49 is utilization for a day-by-day -day change not too much about half of a percent up which works out to be 554,000 additional shares being shorted and all this information is available on ortex link is in the description below as well and with that I just want to give you a quick update on options activity for lucid so right now 46.1 million dollars of options were played today only 28 percent of them being positive yesterday was 51 million dollars of total options options whereas only 35 percent positive so when it comes down to the options activity on lucid it does look like it's turned a little bit bearish but most likely that's because of the broader market and in addition to that i just want to show you one quick thing and so that is this 
So this is the beginning trades of the beginning of the morning. And you can see a couple of different things that I do want to bring up. So obviously you see this big volume that caused the sell off. There's this factor. This is what took us outside and caused us to go up and just zooming then a little bit more. So you can see 365,000 shares were purchased, which works out to be $10.2 million of an order that was placed. So this is what gave us the nice kickoff to a huge rally. So again, it is one of those things that institutions absolutely love Lucid and they're willing to back it up significantly with a lot of money. Like I said, $10.2 million just this one trade alone. So that's one thing as well I just want to show you. And with that, I just want to cap it off with some technical analysis. So I have the 5100, 200 day moving averages, boiling your bands, RSI, stochastic, and momentum. So everything that you need to know coming from an investor standpoint. Looking at momentum, it is actually despite the red day and everything, number of buyers is up. So that's one positive thing. And stochastic, it is starting to merge, so no defined trend as of right now, but it is technically at 14, which is very, very low. RSI is currently at 32 as well. And looking on the actual chart, we're technically below all the moving averages, more specifically the 200 day moving average. And that's one thing that we've been kind of hovering around and testing a lot. But unfortunately, we are as of today below that and technically lower percent of the boiling event. I was very optimistic in thinking that we could break outside of that to the higher one. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be on our side as well. Looking at this, I'm just going to show you some Fibonacci levels as well. So this is some factors that have been causing a lot of support. So we all know technically 2582 is one of the Fibonacci levels where we technically did bounce around here. So this is one aspect that did save us from a free fall and cause us to bounce up a little bit. So it does look like most likely we are trending down and to be testing that possibly. But when it comes down to it, these are the Fibonacci levels. So where the big supports are. So around $12.25, $20.25. And then typically I like to look at these on a more of a closer look. So these are again, more support levels right now. So again, those are some things to keep in mind. But regardless of all of that, I do anticipate, especially the next couple of weeks of there being a lot of big catalysts coming forward for Lucid for us to actually have this turn out to be very positive. Because right now, technically, the chart and the technicals don't really necessarily show the best. Most of them look a little bit bearish, unfortunately. And again, I am a very big Lucid investor and a big fan of Lucid. But I don't want to discourage you or say anything that's incorrect. Right now, the technicals don't necessarily look the best and are all mostly pointing towards a little bit of a downtrend. So just take how you see that. If you are like myself, you are a very long term investor. So this is just all short term noise, great buying opportunities, especially if you can average down or enter in if you are brand new to Lucid as well. With all that, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, do your own due diligence. With that, don't forget to smash your thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom screen greatly appreciate that with that let's all make a lot of money on lucid